She's on me for Okay. So perfect for John. That's that's okay. quite a bit dark. No, isn't it? No, I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> no, that's the joke. What was it? That it was like a joke Chris Hall told us, wasn't it? Just, what? what? It was a. Uh, I like my women like I like my whiskey. Twelve years old and in the basement. <laughs> oh yeah. I don't know. I, I'm pretty sure Chris Hall didn't say that. Um, I can. Well, I, I'm that's, pretty that's like can imagine him saying I, that. not really his sense of humor anymore. Like uh, Se it was back when he actually talked to Seth. Uh, pretty much, he was just like, "Yeah, so, no, Chris Hall told me this." So joke one many, time. many years. Ago. Yeah, exactly. He was just like, "Yeah, no, Chris Hall told me this joke, and it was hilarious." <laughs> Little did he know, it wasn't hilarious. It was very good for shock value, though. and okay, funny. Okay, okay, that's an interesting like thing to say. What? Good for shock value. Yes! In moments in life where shock value is necessary. Yes, I need shock value because... Why How else would Family Guy still exist? <laughs> uh, How else would South Park still exist? Oh wait, it's because the general populace I, I would say that uh, generally South Park leans more on... Oh my Are you seriously kidding me? <laughs> I've literally watched like people just shitting all over everything in South Park. That's what I was saying, is like, I've seen South Park relies on shock value a lot more. But yeah. that's the thing. South Park will be like, lol, literally everything here is like the me defiling it to the best of our writer's ability. Yeah, yeah you're, you're right. Like, Actually, Family Guy doesn't do shock value. They it, it's do. more like randomness, they just non sequiturs. Do, they just stuff. do yeah. references. They don't make jokes, they make references. There's like, well, two jokes. Jokes. There's like two jokes per episode. I don't know. I kind of this, like this is going to be the progression of our Let's Play channels where we gradually like shift from uh, conversations and wow, that R Wing just like disintegrated to arguments. Um, it'll, no, no, no. It'll just basically it goes from like uh, slightly related to the video game, but every once in a while we go on a tangent. And it'll slowly devolve into us just talking about uh, some other thing, like Family Guy, this fa uh, a Family Guy like discussion podcast, and, and the video game will slowly fade out over the videos <laughs> to the point where there's no. Video it's just a blank screen. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. a blank black that screen. Would, that would be interesting. For yes. Wait, what? Wolf say fox. Why? Uh, he's pulling a Vegeta. Oh, is it the whole, like, I don't want to be, like, I want to be the one that kills you kind of thing? Oh, that's totally what it is. He's uh -huh. like, he's like, uh... Again, Vegeta. He's like, uh, I can't live in a galaxy where I have to fight some freaking aliens. I want to fight good guys. <laughs> uh, I don't want to be a good guy by having to fight these dudes all the time. It's no fun robbing things if it's all filled with aliens. <laughs> also, Jake... Um, Super Brofist from that, that Vegeta reference. Uh, he's totally he's Vegeta, mentioning. though. He is. Have you, not, uh, have you noticed that there's a lot of, like, Vegeta characters in... What's stuff? up, Vegeta? Uh, he's from uh, Dragon Ball The Z. guy that's a rival at first and, like, eventually becomes an ally. Well, at so first he was, he was more like, Kinda. Yeah. So Shadow Vegeta, yeah. too. Yeah, pretty much. Well, that's the thing. There's a lot of uh, Dragon Ball analogies, not al uh, uh, analogs in Sonic. Yeah, like mm. Super Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> not even so. <laughs> yeah. Well, that is a straight up like Re reference. Yeah, like, no, a like whole oh my God. Thing, all the way from like oh Chaos Emeralds, Dragon Balls. Yeah, there's seven Chaos Emeralds. Too. The actual like way they work is totally different. Yeah. Aren't they just like more of a power oh, source frick. or something? I want to restart this, but I can't. Because <laughs> yeah, I'm you doing know. a let's play show. You've gone too far. Uh, see, if I was playing this for my own entertainment, I would have like quit immediately. If I was playing this for my own entertainment, I'd still be on the last level. <laughs> Man, that last level is surprisingly difficult. Yeah. It's because of the meter. Because I remember having a problem, the last level was another one that I had a problem with, 
And then this one I found really easy. Oh, these ones. Are just yeah. Is this like Pokemon Snap with a gun? It is. <laughs> oh my gosh. I never thought of it that way, but that's what it is. Are you gonna catch has anyone me? tried Let's Playing Pokemon Snap? You bet someone has. Hasn't PBG tried it? No, that, that he, he, did a review. he didn't Let's Play it. He did like yeah. He did like an overview on it. Oh okay. He did a PBG. Oh PBG, you're so good. I haven't watched him in a while. I should see what he's doing. It's weird because he like. He puts more videos out than JonTron. Yeah. But he still doesn't put out a lot of videos. Yeah, no, he doesn't. He's kind of inconsistent. Yeah, it feels like when he's actually putting stuff out, he has, like, a good flow. But then he'll just stop putting stuff out, and then you don't see him for a while. And well, then you'll see him again. His videos, like, have a lot of, uh... <laughs> You're so, like, I'm too focused. Uh, so, so, uh, uh, uh Fox Assault. Yes, he has a backpack that looks like it needs to be. He key. has tail physics. Look! Oh, I totally Very forgot. Ah, oh, crap physics. Tails. Shazam's. Is he, is this secret? <gasps> oh my gosh. He is Tails. You know, he and kinda, Falco is Sonic! He kind <laughs> He kind of looks like Tails if well, like he, that's Tails if, he is a fox. if he like grew into an adult finally and cut off one of his tails. <laughs> Imagine how that would go. Just like Sonic. Why did I use that voice? He cuts off his tail and he's just screaming, bloody murder, screaming. The <laughs> everyone is laughing. Oh, I don't know. He's just kind of going mad. You're also texting, aren't you? Yes. It's kind of a catch-22 thing where, like, you realize you're going mad, mm -hmm. then you can't possibly be mad. That's still a I, oh, is that still holy that crap! What? That is, oh, this is one of the most terrifying parts of the game, by the way. What is that? You just see General Pepper just, like, being slowly taken over by the... This reminds me of Halo when Our Captain Keys gets taken over by the Flood. Okay, this is something that's upsetting to me, but you had this really cool, like... Gundam thing uh -huh. that doesn't get used in any of the other games. Yeah. And only General Pepper has it. Gundam Pepper. Gundam Pepper! I don't remember it, but I think he dies, right? Well, yeah, he's been no, taken he, over. No, he, he doesn't die. I thought he did, oh, because he's he been taken over by the alley. Uh, yeah, I think so, in commands, like, someone else did. So. Oh, Peppy. Oh yeah, yeah he does. Cause he's freaking old in that game. Yeah. Ye old. Wait, isn't did, weren't you guys talking about this before? Isn't he like, isn't a pep or isn't this one of the only like Nintendo games where the timeline actually changes other than like I guess the Legend of Zelda? Well, I feel like it's Maybe not Fire to, it's not totally clear like how far is this after Star Fox sixty four? Well, don't they have stories? Well, I know, here's here's what I remember. Adventures takes place, like, in a weird place for Star Fox. Wow, I had low health from, like, the prior part of that mission. That really sucked. Um, but, like, Adventures takes place a considerable amount of time after because all their ships are, like, in disarray because they haven't had anything to do. Mm. And, you know, obviously that game is canon because Crystal. And, um. And they totally just mentioned it, like, by having a whole level. Oh, yeah, that too. Basically. So, and, um. Okay, I gotta watch out for the thing. And wasn't that little dinosaur, like, or wasn't that dinosaur they were riding, like, really small in. Yeah, that was the whole thing, because Fox was like, whoa, you're big and heavy now. You're big, you're heavy, you're killing me, freaking... Okay, is that damage av avoidable with that end right there? I think you can shoot it. This feels like one of those games, like, on Rabbids or something, where you, like, just shoot everything. You mean, like, one of those arcade games? Yeah. With the light gun? I feel like you're hardly doing any damage. It feels like I'm hardly doing any damage, but well, you look at it and, like, I've only been doing this for, like, a minute and a half. And he's already over half dead, and you've lost like no health. You got this, Jake. You got this, Jake. Well, that's the the only reason I died is because my health didn't go back up between the things. 
Yeah, I think that damage is unavoidable, and this is just like a race to see how much damage you can do in that right of Oh, okay. Okay, no, yeah, that damage is unavoidable. Yeah, like, I don't see why they would do that. Like, in every game, you should be able to avoid every da- or all the damage. Except in Lords of the Fallen! Wow, that really came out of nowhere. Or like in the paper, first Paper Mario, where, like, you die instantly in the first battle. Well, that's a standard RPG thing. It's like, I have the, un- show you uh, the undefeatable are. first fight. They also did it in Mega Man X. They did, actually. That's a good example. Thank you. Like the first one? Yeah. First yeah, Mega first Man Mega Man X, you go up against Vile in his mech, and yeah. you can't beat him. You can do damage to him and stuff, but eventually once you run, run out of health, Zero comes in and is like, I'm gonna cut you, and then he cuts Vile. He's like, you're not strong enough, Mega Man. You're Zero strong. is just like the perfect character design for 12 year olds to love. Dude, I still love Zero. Well, case in Oh. Exactly. Oh. oh. Where is the love? Not here. Okay, question. What? What's more annoying? Me? Preteen or an actual teen? Uh, um, I want to say the teens because they're slightly more self-aware. Well, Actually, yeah. they might even be less. They're so, like, oblivious to, like, what's around them, and they're just, like, stupid. <laughs> <laughs> they make stupid Wait, decisions. teens, teens like, or preteens? Teens. Okay. Yeah. Like, because preteens are just kind of annoying, but, like, General, teens are, are annoying because they make horrible decisions. They're terrible what to their parents. Done? Usually, I'm making sweeping general ideas. Okay, look look at Peppy being a total boss right here. He's like, hey, guess what? I'm gonna save you, Pepper. Peppy. Pepper. He said he's never going to retire or something. He's like, what? My duty's done. How much older is he than the rest of them? Peppy? Yeah. I know it's stated somewhere, but I don't think it's in his Because he's not actually in the team here, right? I thought I told you. Peppy? No, no. He doesn't fly at all. So, mm. <laughs> so how long you plan on taking up space on my wing? <laughs> oh. Thanks, Snake Vegeta. Jeez. <laughs> Snake Vegeta. <laughs> when are you gonna get off my wolf? <laughs> Don't hesitate. When the time comes. I'll forgive you. Uh, that's so cool. He's we'll just, get... he's just like, just do it, Fox. We'll get even as long as you bring me some scotchy scotch scotch ice cream. <laughs> But they stopped making that so long ago! They exactly! <laughs> no, then, then Wolf like looks behind him right before he takes off and he's like... Maybe somewhere in the galaxy, Fox. There's still scotchy scotch scotch. <laughs> yes. And he flies off. And then like, the, the rest of the game is literally just Fox looking for that freaking ice cream. He like lands on and the. You just show up in a distant Walgreens in the galaxy and it's like, oh hey, fancy. Yeah, also, they find like a destroyed Earth. Also, one more thing: who does that? Like, like if you have a friend like George. Oh, wait, what? What is this? Slippy's dad. Oh, yeah. So you're talking. Notice the to French your, mustache. So you, you like have an argument with your friend George, and he walks away, and you're just like. If you go George. <laughs> Who does that? That's what, Thor, that's what Fox just did. Like, he flew away and he's like, Wolf! Wolf. He's like, what? <laughs> At least no, he wasn't that's, just that's, like, Wolf? That's, that's just wolf! A, that's just a Japanese thing. Yeah, they do it in a lot of animes. I guess. You want to know what else they do in a lot of animes? They end episodes?